Although not a written rule, you get the impression that without a deadline, nothing gets done in our country. The electoral umpire, that's the independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, always takes the rap when politicians and their hirelings mess up the table. INEC has flashed the yellow card, so to speak, to political parties regarding the deadline for nomination of governorship and state assembly candidates. The INEC commissioner in charge of voter education and information, Festus Okoye, has warned that the commission will not extend the July 15 deadline for submission of nomination forms. The referee has spoken. So the politicians must beware of the, the, the Ides of July, uh, Bola. You see, I am a person that, uh, my intervention on this case is that I'm very much concerned about building institutions, enduring institutions, sustainable institutions. And in the case of Hennet, we've seen that in Ekiti election, governorship election. You see, if the INA can come up with the issue of building strong institutions, making sure the rule is followed, mm. and then shutting out those people that are not ready to follow the rule. Fine, I'm beautiful. But, but I'm, that's, that's our problem. We say the, the problem is not a lack of laws, but giving teeth to, to the laws. laws. Yeah. Yes, that is what I'm saying. And look at it. The commission said, look, by 15th of July, automatically, eh, the ICT will shut down any political party that refused to feed in. Yeah. The documents and the details of their candidates. Yeah. That is good. If the ICT can do that, why not? That means nobody will tamper with the law. And but it must be based on the law and the room that the law gives to the parties to feed in their candidates. If the law is saying 30 days, 60 days, 20 days before the election, let it be that. Mm. That is my own concern. Asoko, you know, each time, it's not surprising the INEC will take the rap, rightly or wrongly, when things go wrong. So mm -hmm. remember what he did? INEC gave the red card to the APC in Zamfara. Mm -hmm. Did so, I think, in Rivers and yeah, one or two other Rivers. states. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this time, this is no threat. No, no, no. I, I can't wait for July 15th. No, no, it, it is, it's no threat because if you look at what happened, the first time INEC did this, INEC brought out this timetable and it wasn't detailed. Mm. You know why? Because the electoral bill was still on Mr. President's table. It was when Mr. President now signed that bill into law in February 25th of this year, INEC now decided, okay, fine, we now have a detailed timetable. Don't forget mm. that the first time when they brought the timetable, the presidential election was supposed to start in February 18th. It was supposed to, you know, start February 18th. INEC, because it, definitely INEC will bring out a, a first, the first, the first draft. So that first draft was there until the president now signed the bill into, into law. INEC now brought out this timetable. Their own timetable, the schedule of activities, and yeah. they started. Because the shadow of activities now showed, okay, when are we going to start the submission of names, the nomination of, um, of candidates, when the primaries will hold. Mm. So those are some of the things that we are in this timetable, including this particular one that INEC is saying we will not shift because it's also going to affect them. Mm. Yes. It will affect them. It, so they, it will alter so many things. So many things. So if political parties have names of those who they call their candidates, and they have won at the primaries. I see no reason why they shouldn't upload it immediately. Yeah. You know? So the fire brigade approach of how things, oh, this is, is Nigeria, they will be able to use the back, back door. Just like um, Bola said, immediately is 6 p.m. on July 15. Let the system shut down. So any, nobody will say they want to uh, crack the, mm. the, the app or whatever, and then try to f infuse. In fact, there shouldn't be anything like paper submission. Submission. Mm. Mm. That is the advice for INEC. You know, well, not directly related, but w there can be a linkage. When the NIMC started uh, the 11th, yes, yes. Many Nigerians, many Nigerians, Nigerians were saying, the they deadline. waited. 
Do you know now, in 2022, NIMC came, I think, in the years of our bus on Joe? Yes. 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 Till now, many people don't have the 11. It was digits. when they started saying that we are going to block your lines. That is when you started seeing people going to Ikeja and so many other yeah. places to go and line up. We like doing things at the last day. And that is why we are having problems. If INEC can show our political, those who want to be our political leaders, yeah. show them and teach them this lesson. I'm very sure, I, I, I can bet you there will be some political parties who will not even submit that day. And that is the truth. <laughs> and even look at it, people should know that in the case of Safara, the treatment that the commission gave to APC in mm -hmm. Safara and to River State, a ruling party for that matter, mm. yeah. they should know that where this commission really and actually meant business. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. the business should not be as usual. What is happening? Mm. We should go by the law. Mm -hmm. And we should be strict about this thing. Because we want to build endurable and sustainable institutions, not based on you know, the mighty power of political party in power. Mm. Other actors. Mm. That shouldn't be. That shouldn't yeah. be. Again, the Ides of July are here for political parties who will bet with Asukwa that by January 15, uh, sorry, July 15, will still be groping in the dark. Mm -hmm. I wish you well.